Are you looking for a POS system for your WooCommerce store that can easily manage your stock inventory and ease the process of order management? Welcome to Make Web Better POS for WooCommerce plugin that will help you fasten the orders management process, provide multiple payment gateways to your customers, allow you to filter the product category wise with just few clicks and much more. It will not only ease the process of order management, save your time, but also it will reduce your dependency on the third party platforms to manage inventory and sync orders. So let's get started. This is Munam from Make Web Better and we are back with another tutorial video on MWB POS for WooCommerce plugin. So before we move forward, make sure to like and share the video and if you are new to our channel, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to get regular updates from our channel. So in today's demo video, I will explain you about how you can set up POS for WooCommerce plugin and at last I will explain you about its advantages. So keep watching till the end so that you don't miss any update regarding the plugin functionality. So before moving to the front end and the back end setting, let's understand what is the basic concept of POS for WooCommerce. What is MWB point of sale for WooCommerce? MWB point of sale for WooCommerce is a plugin that will fill up the gap between your online and offline store. The POS for WooCommerce will assist the store owner to sync the offline and online store and manage stock and orders conveniently by having a complete control over sales and customer order. So if you haven't downloaded the plugin, we have mentioned the link in the description content and from there you can download the plugin. So after installing the plugin, you have to move to your WordPress dashboard and click on POS for WooCommerce. So as soon as you click on POS for WooCommerce, you will be redirected to the backend settings of MWB point of sale for WooCommerce plugin. So as you can see, there are four tabs that are overview, general settings, login panel, system status. So firstly, I'm going to explain you about overview section. So in this overview section, you will get to know about what is MWB point of sale for WooCommerce plugin and what are the features that are included in this free plugin. So this was all about the overview section. Now let's move to next setting that is general settings. So with the help of general settings, the admin or the shop owner can set up the control of dashboard, including settings related to the header text and the footer text and the background customization. So the first feature is POS header text. So with this functionality, the admin can enter the text in this box and customize the header text for the POS dashboard. Like if I have entered the POS dashboard, so this enter text will appear on the front end as a POS header text. Next uh, functionality we got is POS header color. So with this feature, the admin can pick the preferred color for the POS dashboard by header as the default color will be applied to the header. Like if I have selected this color, so this color will be appearing on this POS header as a POS header color. POS header logo. So with this functionality, the admin or the store owner can personalize the dashboard very easily by uploading the logo. And if the logo is not selected, the default logo will appear in the header section. So like uh, if I have selected this logo, so this logo will appear as a POS header logo. POS footer text color. So with this functionality, the admin can customize the footer text color. So if I have selected any of the color, so that color will be appearing as a footer text color. POS footer background. So with this footer background functionality, the admin or the shop owner can decide the background color for the POS footer. So like if I have selected this color, so this color will be appearing on the POS footer background color. So all the settings have been done. Now let's just click on save settings. So all the settings have been saved. So the last functionality is barcode generator settings. So with this functionality, so by clicking on this button, the admin can generate barcodes for all the store products at once. So the barcode can be generated for all the simple products, variable products, as well as virtual products. So with the help of barcode, it will help from scanning, modifying and completing transactions using barcodes to printing the customer receipts. So now let's move to next functionality that is login panel. So with login panel settings, the admin can fully customize the POS login page. So the first functionality is POS login panel title. So with this functionality, the store owner or the admin can customize the title for POS login page by inputting the customized title in this input box. Like if I have selected this text, please login. 
so this text will appear will be appearing as a POS login panel title. Next uh, functionality is POS login panel subtitle. So with this functionality, the admin can enter the custom text in this input box for subtitle for POS login panel subtitle. Like if I have selected this text, mention your credentials. So this text will be appearing as a POS login panel subtitle. POS login panel description. So with this functionality, the admin or the shop owner can enter the customized description for POS login panel based description. Like uh, if I have uh, selected uh, or uh, written the text like uh, kindly login here, the, this I have written kindly login here to proceed for your store orders. So this description will be appearing as a POS login panel description. Next functionality is background color. So with this functionality, the admin can decide or customize the background color for the POS login page. Like if I have selected this color, so this color will be appearing as a background color for the uh, POS login page button color so with this functionality the admin or the store owner can customize or pick the preferred color for the button for the pos login panel based login button so if i have selected this color so this uh, color will be appearing on the button color for the pos login page button text color so with this feature the admin can customize the color of the button text for the pos login page so from here you can select the text color for the button so the last functionality is pos logo image so with this functionality, the admin can upload the logo image of the store for the POS login page by clicking on upload button and then uploading it. So uh, like this, if I have selected this logo image, so this uh, logo will be appearing on the POS login page. So all the settings have been done. Now let's just click on save settings. So now let's move to next uh, tab that is system status. So with this functionality of system status, the admin or the store owner can find all the information related to the WordPress and system variable. So this tab is for informative display. So this was all about the system status. Now let's move to POS orders. So let's click on POS orders. So with this POS order menu, when any of the order is placed then all the details related to the order, uh, including selling seller name, customer name, billing address and the billing total amount can be tracked from here. So if you want to see more details of the order, simply you can click on any particular order and you can see all the uh, detailed information of that order. So the, this detailed information will be in this WooCommerce orders. So that means you can easily manage POS and WooCommerce orders very easily. So uh, this was all about the POS order menu. So now let's move to shop page and see how this pos panel will work and how this uh, the customization that we have done will reflect on the front end so we are on the pos panel login page and one thing i want to tell you that the pos panel can only be accessed by admin so in the upcoming versions we will provide a functionality in which the access can be provided to the editor and subscriber so as you can see the logo image that we have selected along with the button text along with the button color is appearing according to the applied backend settings and you can also see that the text we have entered for the title and for the subtitle and the description is also coming along with the selected background color so let's log in and see the pos panel for customization that we have done so this is the mwb pos panel in which you can easily manage your offline as well as online orders so as you can see the footer color as well as the header color along with the header text that we have selected is coming here. So this is how the easy customization of MWB POS for WooCommerce is. As you can see this is written in stock and there is no order quantity is mentioned because we have not mentioned any order quantity and we have only mentioned in stock that's why it's appearing here. So this is the Gravatar profile photo and this is the username and from here the admin or the seller can update his or her profile. So Gravitar cannot be changed from here. It can be only updated from WordPress ORG and once it has been updated from there, it will be automatically updated here. So this is the sidebar and this is the product uh, section area. This is the cart section and this is the product category filter option which will help you to list out automatically all the categories and their product like if I have selected this hoodie category so all the products lying in this category will appear in this product section next is pos search feature so from here search any of the uh, store based products and enter this by entering the search term like if i have selected belt so all the products related to this search term will appear on this product section 
so now let's add any of the product and as you can see that we have a smart dashboard notification to allow you to acknowledge about all the processes happening in this POS panel. Like if I have selected the beanie, so the notification has come product beanie has been added to the cart. Now moreover, uh, the shop owner or the admin can uh, add the tax value by entering the val VAT value here like this. So the VAT has been added. So the shipping, ca uh, shipping cost can also be included from here. So uh, the tax and the shipping cost has been included. Now uh, the uh, payment gateways uh, you can select from here and if you want to apply the coupon so you can enter the coupon details like here and you have to enter the discount value. So as you can see that the coupon has been applied and the total amount has been now Euro 28 after applying the coupon. Now selecting the payment gateways. So whatever the customer wants, like uh, he wants to pay in cash, so you can select in cash or if you want to pay the card payment, so you can simply click on this and choose payment. So now let's click on pay now. Now you have to enter the customer details from here and now simply click on place order. So as you can see the notification has come, the order has been placed successfully. So now let's see this order has been uh, tracked or not. So now let's move to the POS order page on the back end so to see if this order details has been tracked or not. So we are on the POS order menu and as you can see the order has been tracked along with the seller name that is admin along with the customer name that we have entered and the billing address along with the total amount that is of Euro 28. So this is how the order has been order details has been tracked in this POS order menu for whatever the order is placed on the POS panel. So now let's see the advantages of MWB POS for WooCommerce plugin. Now let's see the advantages of MWB POS for WooCommerce plugin. So with MWB POS for WooCommerce plugin, the admin can manage the stock, the customer orders for both offline and online store. In addition to that, the plugin offers smooth order synchronization that will assist you to fasten order management. Moreover, POS for WooCommerce provides you product search and category filter to enhance shopping experience. And with this MWB POS plugin, the admin can create online report for store transactions. Moreover, the MWB POS for WooCommerce offer full customization of entire POS panel and POS login page which will result in a smooth functioning of order taking process. So this was all about the demo video of MWB POS for WooCommerce plugin. So if you liked watching the video make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and if you have any doubts and queries regarding plugin functionalities you can mention in the comment section and we will be glad to assist you. So till the next video stay connected with us. Thank you.